Just fucking do it. Subscribe now. I, I told a couple of you that I saw so far that um, we had a shaman monk here last seminar. I thought I understood discipline. I didn't think it. I knew I, I invented discipline. But having him here, he sat right there, opened my eyes, and at 78, my eyes don't get open that often. But it was quite interesting, and it, um, it made it more clear why perhaps some of you, and when I say you, I, mean, I don't mean this group, but I mean the groups over the last 10 or 12 years, to the extent that you've had difficulty with the program, why you had difficulty. The, uh, he worked, um, he had a suit from Walmart, I didn't know Walmart sold suits. He had shoes uh, that, you know how when you're, uh, well, you're at a supermarket and they've got shoes for three pairs for $2 or something? He was wearing one of those pair of shoes, black shoes. He had never worn shoes before uh, in his life. He's 41 years old. Um, he thought it was a size 9, but he was size 11. When you walk on your bare feet, I guess for 40 years, your feet get flattened out. He worked three summers on a fishing boat in Alaska to save enough money to come to the seminar because they have no income. And then we've got you. He knew the website verbatim. Everybody understand what verbatim means? Word for motherfucking word. I told you to um, watch Succession and Billionaire. He knew four or five shows each verbatim. He looked at Dan did the extreme. Every fucking one verbatim. And then we got you. He belongs to a pack, it's not a pack, a group of monks, 320 or 30 of them. Uh, and they have no income. And um, I told him, I said, we've had guys come here, make a bunch of money, and then go become a monk. But we've never had a monk monk. He said he was uncomfortable wearing clothes. Of course, I think, naked orgies, fuck, you know, you know, because they weren't these robe things. He let his hair grow back so he wouldn't look so unusual like a monk. This guy's got a monk haircut, this old timer here in the front, got a monk haircut, meaning no hair. And it was such, there was such a dichotomy between the regular person that comes here, and there's nobody regular, you're all fucked up in different ways, but I mean the regular person and him. He didn't cause any trouble, he didn't talk to anybody. When I say don't talk, don't mingle, this is not a networking event, he didn't say a fucking word during the whole seminar. There's little doubt in my military or civilian mind that he's going to succeed. I've been wrong before, but there's little doubt. He prepared several years to come to this event. Come to this event. A few of you in the audience have prepared a few years. Um, but it was, and it's not easy again for me to have a revelation. It isn't. It isn't. Um, notwithstanding, I'm going to the Vatican, Sally and I, in a few days. Um, not to pray for your souls, because anybody that comes to the seminar, you're beyond. I'm, not, I'm worried about the generations that are going to watch my YouTubes when I quit. I saw dedication close up front. And um, I've said for 30 years, my 30 year anniversary was last May, um, those who get laser beam focused first, stay laser beam focused longest, 
win most. I've been saying that for 30 years. But I mean, it's like words coming out of the old man. Well, I wasn't such an old man 30 years ago, flapping my lips. But the truth of the matter is, you don't have to be as laser beam focused today as you did 30 years ago. Because it's easier. You've heard me say, I've had five gifts from God. Higher power, Sally, the three kids, and Corona Rona. Corona was a gift to me, personally, to Dan Penny, to scare people so we could do this model easier. But then lo and behold, I got a sixth gift, actually a sixth and a seventh gift. Sixth gift, fucking high interest rates. It can't get any better for us. I told one of you or two of you, the average, I used to say, you're 2,000 cold calls away from a millionaire, right? Now you're 1,270 calls away from a millionaire. 1,270. That's about the average. Not about, it is the average. Andres Maynard, as you'll hear him in a webinar later on in the week, said, I made 1,614 calls, and it all came together at once. And he worked a full-time job. I used to say, your first deal, you're a short millionaire. Because your first deal is going to be between one million and one million five, if you follow the steps. Um, and I'm going to say for the first time now, you're not going to follow the steps. I say it about 150 times because you're not. But uh, a million to a million five, and 62.5% of that million five will be equity to your account. So that's roughly a million bucks. And for those of you that are on the short end of that, you'll be a short millionaire. But you'll be an absolute millionaire after two deals. But now it's 1,217, or 70, excuse me, calls. Some of you will not make 1,270 calls in your entire career following QLA. As Sally knows, in the early days of the seminar, I used to, after tomorrow, I tell you who's going to fail and who's going to succeed. I don't do that anymore. Because Sally finally convinced me after 20, 25 years that it's a self-fulfilling prophecy if I tell you you're going to be a loser. As opposed to, oh, I'll show that old cocksucker, fuck him up. No. There are not many of you like that anymore. Oh, I've always been a loser. I've always engaged in self-sabotaging activities. And you turn with a tail between your legs and march off into the sunset. So I don't do that anymore. The seminar used to be given in one day at the Sheraton Hotel, downtown Los Angeles. 61 people showed up and paid $1,000 each. Seminar started at 8 o'clock in the morning, went till 8 in the evening. No breaks, no coffee, no nothing to, Sally would die. We didn't feed him, we didn't give him coffee or water. At 8 o'clock, the seminar ended and Q&A opened up. And Q&A went on the first, not, first seminar, went from 8 till 3 in the morning. I didn't leave until all the questions were answered. Same material you're going to cover in the next week. Same material. The only difference in financial tools, there were 40 financial tools that existed in the world yet in 1993. There's 41 now. We still only use one, commercial banking. The only thing that's changed in the financial world is crowdfunding. We don't teach that. Although we've had very, very, a whole bunch of kids. Marcus Bauer holds the world's record for crowdfunding. Two minutes and 42 seconds to fund an entire deal. He gave all the money back because he couldn't stand the uh, shareholders. Gave it back. But nothing changed in 30 years that I've been doing this, except the audiences have gotten weaker.
We're going to go through a few um, bits of data, why that's true. In general, men shoot less sperm. There's that less sperm, little things get up to impregnate the egg. Men's handshake has decreased 35% in hand power. Women's handshake has increased 18%. And I can go on and on and on. Why, you're just cunts. I reviewed all your files before I saw my first person today. I was interviewed by Bloomberg today, and I reviewed all your files. And there's method to the madness, and you hopefully, not hope, hope is not a strategy. You, the ones that have a higher probability of making it will figure this out. But when I ask you, what's the highest performance thing your grandparents ever did? And what's the highest performance thing your parents ever did? And what's the highest performance thing you ever did? And what's the highest performance thing your kids ever did? And when all the answers are the above are nothing, 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 and nothing, and you wonder why you are where you are. I told uh, the young man, uh, uh, you all look alike to me. But anyway, I told one of the young men uh, uh, that's a runner that uh, two seminars ago we had the state champion for the two mile in Massachusetts from 1985. So he's an old, an old geezer now. But he looks and he's built, I mean, like he, he's still in high school. And I told him uh, he goes to Babson College, fine school, and his girlfriend goes to Wellesley, Wellesley, where Hillary Clinton, amongst other people, have gone. And I told him about the time I was running the Boston Marathon in 1977. And I said, I think we run through Wellesley or around Wellesley. And the Wellesley girls ripped my pants off, my, my shorts, and knocked me down. I hit my head on the ground. And it took me three or four minutes to get my stuff together and get my pants back to continue the race. And I finished. And uh, then he said it went, well, actually, it goes through Wellesley, apparently, the campus. The, uh, this will be a transformational week for everyone, even for those of you that decide not to follow the steps. On that Hall of Fame, as you've heard me pontificate over the years, we've got 80 IQ and 180 IQ. The 80 IQ has made more money than the 180 IQ. It has nothing to do with ethnicity. It has nothing to do with religion. It has nothing to do with where you went to school. It has nothing to do with your, who your parents are, et cetera, et cetera. Those of you that decide to get laser beam focused first, and those of you that decide to stay laser beam focused longest will win. The longer you stay laser beam focused is directly uh, proportional to how much money you can create for generational wealth. One of the things that we're going to talk about is a study came out, actually since my two seminars ago, that I never realized this. You're considered high net worth in the world of banking. This is commercial banking, which I was dumbfounded. If you have 30 million equivalent in dollars. We're going to talk about Ted, excuse me, Ted, Tex, TX, he doesn't call himself Tex, uh, who in 11 months did $348 million from Mesa, California, uh, Mesa, Arizona, excuse me. Those of you in the room that have something to prove, either to the priest that beat you, to your grandparents who were somebody, to your aunts or uncles, to the school teachers that said you're going to be a loser all your fucking life, whatever that, that thing is, will succeed fastest. When I ask you, do you have any regrets? For you, a few of you said none. I feel sorry for you because you're too fucking stupid to know. But I'll say now, and I'm going to say it ad nauseum tomorrow, the kids, there's a reason why we don't give you the slides anymore. 
There's a reason why we don't give you my book anymore. There's a reason, there's a reason for all these things, just as there's a reason why I answer now questions as they come up. I didn't used to do that. I used to answer questions the last day, day and a half. But now I know, I'm, I, I've learned that you're not bright enough to write the motherfucking question down. So you wind up not asking me anything. There's a reason. This is a fine-tuned machine that works in such a terrific way, it's unbelievable. Although it took me 24 years to create a trillion dollars, and I thought I was doing it in five or six, because I grossly underestimated the fucking stupidity, the cowardice, and the lack of self-esteem of the average human being. One of the things we spend a lot of time on, the current flavor of the day is Elon Musk. I don't know him from holding the ground other than this picture. Um, Elon and Steve Jobs before him and a number of these people, uh, they're all assholes. Every fucking one of them is an asshole. A prick, nasty, mean, ruthless. Yet you look up to them, you idolize them. But you're not willing to make a tenth of the sacrifice they made. You're not willing to be a tenth of the asshole they are. Why? That looks like a, that looks like a, a bridge too far to me, although we, we've turned some. But the seminar's changed a little because of the shaman monk. And I'm looking forward to, uh, uh, to seeing his progress. Uh, and all, all I asked him, and I don't ask, I, I'm not asking you this. When you, when you knock it out of the park, he didn't know what that meant. When you hit it for six, you cricket, and he didn't know what that fucking meant. When you hit a grand slam, he knew what a grand slam home run was. Just let me know. Just let me know. Now, I hesitate to ask, because I do believe there are stupid questions. Are there any questions to begin with? Good. Duncan, hit it. <laughs>